Hey guys, in my last tutorial I took you through the very basics of Adobe Premiere Pro. Following that video I got a ton of questions asking why I would be so mad as to use both Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. Why not just use one or the other? That is because they are very different tools with very different purposes. Yes, they both work with video, but trying to use Adobe After Effects to edit a film project is like, is like using scissors to cut your lawn. Yeah, it works, but the moment you have more than a handful of clips to work with, you'll be there forever. On the other hand, trying to use Premiere Pro to create complex visual effects is like... Well, let's just continue with the metaphor. It's like shaving your face with a lawnmower. Yep, they'll turn into bloody mess really quickly. In this video, I want to talk about the important differences between Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects and explain when and why you would want to use one over the other. Adobe Premiere Pro is a video editing program. It is great for organizing a large amount of recorded audio and video material, picking bits and pieces out of different clips and arranging them sequentially. That is why Premiere Pro actually allows you to place more than one video in the same video track. This allows you to easily edit together an entire film project from start to finish. Adobe After Effects on the other hand is a video compositing program. It is great for stacking a large number of different videos and other visual material on top of each other and then using different tools to blend, cut and merge all of those layers back together into a single composited shot. Because Adobe After Effects is a video compositing rather than a video editing tool, it does not actually allow you to place more than one video into the same video track. This means that if you try to use Adobe After Effects for editing a whole film project, you may end up with hundreds if not thousands of different video layers to manage. And that, that is madness. On the other hand, Adobe Premiere Pro does actually allow you to place multiple video layers on top of each other and there's all sorts of effects that you can apply to them. This however is more focused at creating animated titles, color correcting and color grading your footage or blurring out someone's face because they murdered a bunch of people. The moment you want to go beyond those basics and start to add intricate animations, particle effects, composite new elements into your scene, work with 3D or create really complex visual effects, you really need to be taking your shot over into a tool like After Effects. Because Adobe After Effects is focused at compositing different layers of visual material together into a final shot, you will likely have a separate composition for every single one of them. You will also notice other little things like the fact that Adobe After Effects does not play back or export audio by default. On the other hand, Premiere Pro is focused at editing different audio and video material together into a single sequence. It does play back audio by default and it comes with a large number of inbuilt transitions that you can easily add between consecutive clips. Color correction and color grading are also much easier in Premiere Pro because it comes with great inbuilt tools such as reference monitors and scopes that help you analyze the color information in your footage to make more informed decisions. In summary, Premiere Pro is for video editing and After Effects is for video compositing. Knowing the difference and when to use which one is really important and you'll notice how much easier it is to use a hammer for a nail and a screwdriver for a screw. Because I both edit my own film projects and I create my own visual effects, I use both tools. I use Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I answered all of the questions. If you still have any questions, any comments or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you would like to see more exciting filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button up there in the top left hand corner. I'd also greatly appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you want to get in contact, you can also find and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or on Google+. Until next time, I will see you later.